sure you can afford it no. are you sure what? and they were asking like who's buying this like don't everybody use an iphone
Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> Yes, uh, now we will develop your film. Um, this is our prep area. Um, we have a special film puller. Better, some more light. Uh, so we have to take the front of the film out. But it's so good that you have a special machine because I have these hand thingies and it's it never awful. works. Yeah, it's very difficult. We, that's what we did for the first year. We didn't know oh. this existed. Um, I can explain how this works if you want to see it. It's an Iritsu thing, you open it, uh, it has this tongue here, just like that mm -hmm. thing that you probably used before. Um, you put the film inside, in the tongue, and also on the like spool part, mm -hmm. you close it, you put this halfway. It's moving around trying to catch the thing, it has a red light, the red light just went off, it's not sure if it, it actually took the film. And you go here and then back, and it was okay. Like sometimes just fiddling the film out is like the longest part. It sometimes takes me like 10 minutes. Also so. from us, sometimes customers come in with so many messed up rolls, like either the film's completely bent or like ripped yeah. and then this doesn't work. So we have to do it in uh, with this machine, uh, with the hand one, or we have the, the box here. This mm -hmm. is how we prep all the medium format. We have to take it all apart inside there anyway. This is our prep, uh, I don't know, it's a special thing that puts the film onto these um, plastic cards and the plastic cards go into the machine. So yeah, yeah. we have like a thing to do it. Um, we have to make the front flat, then we would put uh, the job. This goes here, it goes on the job sheet, but when it's stuff that's our own stuff or friends, we then just, we cross really it. Need it right? yeah. Exactly, just so we know that it's not a customer job. Then we have this automatic tape, uh, special blue tape that doesn't get affected by chemicals. Mm -hmm. um, we tape it to the card. These are your um, two films. The machine I prepped already this morning when I came in. Uh, you always put an empty leader card through. Mm -hmm. um, you clean this stuff, I can open it and show you. Actually, I will show you quickly before we put the stuff in. Um, so this is the inside of the machine. Um, there is six baths and they every time it's going through this special things, we clean these daily. Mm -hmm. um, and the film kind of travels like a snake through all these rollers and uh, then baths of chemicals. And then uh, it goes through a dryer thing, it's here, it's hard. Um, and it goes down and then it comes out completely dry and the full process takes 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, we have to make sure that every day um, these, now they have water on them because I just cleaned them. Mm -hmm. um, but every day we have to take these out, clean them because uh, chemicals go on there and then hardens and if you've maybe developed at other labs or labs that don't mm -hmm. do so much, they, if they don't clean it, you'll get like um, spots or like crusty stuff then it gets yeah. stuck onto the film so yeah. we don't want um, that <laughs> exactly and then yeah water goes in here and then the chemicals are in these cartridges it's kind of like a printer uh, mm. it's already um it's, like an, you it's concentrate the whole thing yeah in this is a concentrate and this is too uh this is the washing stuff at the end so this lasts for like a thousand rolls wow. this is the developer fix and bleach this lasts for like a hundred maybe mm -hmm. so we always have boxes of these chemicals everywhere uh, we have to take them apart because it's plastic and paper oh, yeah. and then we recycle the chemicals it's here some maybe other labs maybe don't follow the right procedure but we try to be as like yeah. environmentally friendly as we can be yeah, yeah. Um, so we you know we have in the basement these stacked up and then every month a big truck comes in and picks them all up and then we get empty ones and we always try to be uh, yeah doing the correct thing um, okay, so now I'm putting, I put the film in, sorry, I didn't really show it, but there's a track that's gonna grab the film once I close it. Mm -hmm. It's light tight and it pulls the film in. 
Now it's locked. This turns uh, red, it means you can't open it again. You can't use it. You can see here it says leader card transporting. It's showing you uh, estimated mm -hmm. uh, like Way graphic. Yeah, where the film is. It has the, all the different baths here. Um, so in case, say it has happened only twice that a film has either gotten stuck or something broke in the machine while the film was in, then we kind of know where the film is. Mm -hmm. And we can decide if we manually continue the film through mm -hmm. or we open it and if we know it's already past the fix, we can pull the film out and we dry it manually. Um, yeah. But it's super rare that it happens. Um, but now we wait basically 10 minutes until uh, mm -hmm. it comes out. I will prep your others. So this beeped, it's saying, hey, you can put more film in now. Um, uh -huh. Every two minutes, two and a half minutes, you can keep adding film because once the film is finished from, it's all the way in the developer, it's light proof, the light doesn't come out, so you can put the next thing in. I mean, I know that you kind of do this every day and this is like your, you know, daily bread, as we say in Germany, but I'm like super hyped right now to see like uh, how labs do the developing thing and yeah. I'm like fangirling like crazy right yeah. now. But I don't know, in my head it's like the dream to own a film lab and then just have like endless supply of film and endless kind of possibilities to develop. Yeah, everybody who's working here basically gets free development and scanning. Oh, and can I apply, <laughs> please? <laughs> okay, so now the machine just told me, hey, please empty the chemicals. Mm -hmm. So now I'm emptying the chemicals. There's, yeah, the, basically after the film goes through, the machine is saying, okay, it developed the film. It took... Uh, 30 milliliters of chemicals and it throws this away basically and then pumps new fresh chemical into the bath ah, that's here so it's a regenerating process uh, it's a bit different than uh, what you're using for the c41 kit okay and this is our full of canisters this is a weekly thing i think wow. that's always full <laughs> And what would you say is your most processed film stock? Like what do people usually drop um, off the most? Kodak Gold, Cinestill and Portra, mm. three. Okay, um, yeah, you can see here now also the state of the first two films and that's the second films. It's hard in this display, I know, on the camera to do it, but to see it. Nice. Oh man, I hope something turns out there. But at least I think exposures look more okay. or less okay. <laughs> so this row is uh, the one we shot together. Okay, we can do that one first if you want. And is it dry already or yes, does it have to Yes, it's ready to go. It's dry like a straight out of that? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is the film. Mm -hmm. We bring it over to the scanner. We have to put the name of the order. So put your name and then the number of the film. Mm -hmm. um, start and it's a negative. And then we have the different sizes. Um, but so you usually offer two sizes, right? The yes, like the normal standard. and the large size? Yes, exactly. And do you usually scan as JPEGs or TIFFs? Or uh, the normal one is a JPEG and the larger one is a TIFF. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's performing in the dark correction. So it's reading the film base and mm -hmm. deciding the um, correct I guess exposure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's looking for the first frame. This looks like it. And this is doing like a pre scan now, this is the or just to yeah. have like a preview, right? Yeah. Okay, so these are some photos. Um, Depending on what we want, we can lighten and darken. In case there's any stuff blown out, mm -hmm, usually, mm -hmm. most of the time we'll just, we just control the density. We don't change any of the colors usually. Cool. I'm surprised. I think Cine still with uh, shooting flash works quite okay, actually. Yeah, it looks nice. There's the watermelon. <laughs> Probably everybody has a picture of that one. <laughs> Frankie and Austin did see it. It no was just way. me and Natavio. And you said the scanning for a roll in the front here takes like 15 minutes or? Uh, for the large, for the small it's about five. Oh, Four wow. Four or five, so. That's really nice. Um, and yeah, it looks a little weird with this cardboard, but this piece, 
is like difficult to come by or we didn't get it on our scanner. So this is the nice looking piece that goes yeah. to catch the film. So now we have this cardboard because we don't have uh, this special thing. I mean, it yeah, looks but I mean, not it so works, nice, but it right? does its job. That's usually how fast we mm -hmm. look at a film. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're just checking if it's centered and if there's some really blown out highlights yeah, and yeah. we're not changing colors We're not really looking at your stuff. So don't worry when there's uh, naked photos uh. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, so now we have your film here. Mm -hmm. This is actually what's kind of controlling these computers. There's uh, the program on here um, We click on your order Now we can see all the photos um, we're able to cycle through so we have the flat option and it's basically giving you, uh, you can see if you look at the first mm -hmm. one, the standard would be like that. And then we do soft two or soft three. If we're doing the flat scan, if people want to mm -hmm. edit more. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's not always, uh, it all depends. Uh, if we see something's really contrasty, all the black and white, we always do it softer mm -hmm. because uh, the black and white's usually very contrasty from this machine, but these look pretty good. Um, now we have the option to export as a TIFF or a JPEG. Right now they're already TIFFs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I will give you TIFF. It's the, so I'm giving you the, the, the smaller size as a TIFF. Mm -hmm. um, I just make one. And then from here, I'm also able to print. If, say, you order oh, prints yeah. as well, mm -hmm. we just hit print. Excuse me, one set as well. And then it's printing. So now apply, done. Process order. Now all your photos should be within. Now it's exporting. It says busy. Mm -hmm. Should take a minute. And then they're on the mm -hmm. computer or on our server, and then we can, uh, done already. Um, uh, and you can see here, actually, we have our a cloud system. I don't know if you've used it yet on your films, or, but we have WeTransfer, and then we have our own Safe Light Cloud. Mm -hmm. You can see here, the green means it's synced on the cloud already. Once they're all green, it means I can send you a link, and you can just directly download mm -hmm. it from our server. Ah, I uh, see. It's not always working perfectly. Usually it works for the first half of the day, and then it gets overwhelmed by so much stuff going on, it crashes. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Usually we can get at least some links out before mm -hmm. we have to like resync and stuff. But yeah, yeah. data management is a really huge issue for us um, to get people hundreds of gigs a day. It's really difficult. Okay, so after it's done, uh, there's two options. You can put it in the pergamine sheet or in the, this is the automatic one if you don't say anything. Mm -hmm. So it sucks the film in automatically. It has lines where you're gonna cut. Mm -hmm. It's automatically going to the next, uh, So this is the first uh, one. Oh, hey. Yeah. So what would you say? How many rolls go through the lab like each day? How many film uh, rolls do you process? Officially, on the like our shop system, on average for the almost the whole year now has been a little over 100. Has been ordered at least, mm -hmm. or like we've put through. Some days, yeah, like today, maybe we'll just do exactly 100, mm -hmm. or we won't even develop film. We'll develop 20, the rush ones. Yeah. But on a good day, we can, if there's someone here doing this, and two or three people scanning mm -hmm. and emailing, and there's a good uh, flow, I think the record was 180 or 200 in a day. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.